Coming up in this video, I've got five amazing rum cocktails that you can make using this. This is pineapple grenade, this is grapefruit grenade, 65% overproof rums, absolutely amazing. So if you wanna know what cocktails you can make with these, then stay tuned. Hello rum fans, Steve the Barman here and I'm hoping these videos will help you drink, serve and enjoy better quality drinks. So if you like the sound of that, I'd love it, absolutely love it if you hit that magical subscribe button. And if you don't wanna miss a future video, then make sure you ring the bell as well because then YouTube will notify you whether you're on your phone or your computer, they'll notify you every time I set a new video live. Question of the video, as we're talking about these grenades, uh, pineapple grenades, this is pineapple and salted caramel. This is grapefruit and honeycomb. Question of the video, in the comments below, very simple, one word answer, which one do you wanna try first? Pineapple or grapefruit? What takes your fancy the most? Pineapple and salted caramel, grapefruit and honeycomb. In the comments below, simple pineapple or grapefruit. Which one takes your fancy? Right, it's cocktail time. We've got five amazing cocktails that you can make using these two beasts. If you wanna know all about the rums, then check out the last video I filmed. Uh, we've got a review of both of them, where you can get it from, what it tastes like. I'm not gonna go into major details, but what you will have seen right at the end of that video is my preferred simple serves with them. And without a shadow of a doubt, with the great uh, pineapple grenades, pineapple and salted caramel, this little bad boy, this is Schweppes salted, uh, salted, I'm, I'm a little bit tipsy because I've been drinking, these are strong rums. Um, so with the pineapple grenade, pineapple and salted caramel, Schweppes uh, 1783 uh, Muscovado dark spirit mixer was absolutely amazing, literally amazing. I finally found a rum that was just made to go with it. I love that, I absolutely love it but that, those two were just made to go together. They were just absolutely lovely. Um, Coke works really well, Ting works really well, but that was my favorite serve for that one. With the grapefruit, um, while that did work as well, uh, Ting was a definite no-go. Ginger beer was nice as well. That, the grapefruit and Coke. Coke Zero for me, if you want full fat Coke, um, then try that as well. Semi-skimmed Coke, I'd, I'd totally avoid it if I was you. I'm, I'm not a Diet Coke fan. I really don't do Diet Coke. So that was my simple, simple serves. That, pff, I, the rest of that bottle is going to be demolished with that. I can tell you that now. Anyway, right, let's get into it. We've got five uh, classic cocktails um, using these uh, products. Uh, that's what's coming up. I've got so many different cocktails as well, though. So I'm going to record... Uh, lots of different um, but sort of bite-sized cocktail videos in uh, in the next coming weeks or so to go with this because I've got a funny feeling this is just going to work a treat. So let's crack on. The first cocktail I'm going to make, I'm going to do using the grapefruit grenade. It's going to be a simple daiquiri. Now I've made a daiquiri with that a few months ago. It's absolutely lovely. But as this is brand new, as I've just got hold of a bottle, I'm going to make a daiquiri. Exactly the same ratios as what I've done with that. But I'm going to make a grapefruit daiquiri. So the first thing we need, I've, I really love this now. I've got my Nick and Nora glass. I'm just going to chill this down. So just going to put a bit of crushed ice in there. Set that to one side. Right, cocktail shaker. Now, because this is a 65% rum, you don't, you really don't need a 50 mil measure in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go 35 mil, okay? So 35 mil of the grapefruit grenade. This is grapefruit and honeycomb. That's what that is. So 35 mil. Uh, then I'm going 20 mil of uh, lime juice. Um, if you want to use fresh lime juice, be my guest. I, this is the, what I always say. These are the products I kind of bang on about all the time. If you are making cocktails right then and there, then fresh, in my opinion, is always better. It is. However, if you are fr if you are squeezing juice uh, for service in about four, five, six hours times, so if you're squeezing juice ready for the weekend, do you know what? This is absolutely amazing because after a few hours, the lime juice, the fresh lime juice, it doesn't go off, 
but it oxidizes and the flavor profiles change. And I, after a few hours, I really can't taste the difference between this. This is ODK and there'll be links in the show notes of where you can get this from. This is 100% lime juice, but it's just, I, I really love it. So I'm going 20 mil, all right? So 20 mil going in there. ODK's lime juice and then we just need a bit of sugar this is just uh, Funkin uh, sugar syrup it's you know sugar's sugar in my opinion yes there's loads of different brands in there if you can really taste the difference between sugar syrups you'll be doing well so this is what I use uh, so we've got 35 mil 20 mil I'm just gonna go 15 mil all right so 15 mil of sugar syrup in there now a uh, thing I've started doing with daiquiris on events, I've started shaking them with crushed ice because it gives a little bit more dilution. Um, because I've gone back in the last couple of months to using proper, proper ice from my ice suppliers, uh, nice big, all right, it's kind of melted a bit, but it's solid ice. We haven't got the tubed ice anymore. Um, to give the daiquiris extra dilution, I am using uh, crushed ice to shake them down. So. Just going to fill that up with crushed ice. There we go. Cocktail shaker on. Give it a little tap. And you just want to shake this for about 12, 15 seconds or so. So hard and fast shake. Right, you can see that's nice and chilled, nice and condensed. Don't need to tap it. That'll just come off straight away in there. Get rid of your crushed ice out of your chilled glass. And then uh, we just would need to strain. I'm not going to double strain. I like a bit of tiny bit of ice in my uh, in my little daiquiris there. So there we go. There we go. Perfect. Just pop that to one side. Right. Garnish wise, I'm just going to use a lime wheel. Going to go that side, and that is my grapefruit grapefruit grenade daiquiri. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow. God, that is absolutely amazing. That is quite possibly the best daiquiri I've done with the spiced rum review so far. The red leg one was absolutely amazing, but that you get the grapefruit, but you get that little bit of sort of the honey coming through as well. Mm. Wow, that is an absolute stunner. So that is my grapefruit grenade daiquiri. The next cocktail coming up, I'm swapping over. I'm gonna use the pineapple grenade and we're gonna make a pineapple fizz, which is essentially kind of a lengthened out daiquiri. Um, but we've got a little mixer coming in at the end just to sort of, as I say, lengthen it out slightly to make it a really long and refreshing drink. I have made this before and it works an absolute treat. So this is the pineapple fizz. Now, as this is a long drink and it's kind of because it's kind of rum and it's fun, I'm going to serve this up in my tall uh, sort of tiki highball. Really love that. So that's the glass I'm going to use for that. We're going to make this in the shaker. So first off, again, as it's really strong rum, I'm going to use 35 mil. If you want to use 50, I think this will work very well with 50, but I'm going 35 mil just in there. So we're essentially making this the same as we did the daiquiri, the last cocktail. Uh, so 35 mil of that. I'm then going 20 mil of um, the lime juice. There we go. And then I'm gonna go um, 10 mil of the sugar syrup. Just flip that over, let's use that side. There we go, 10 mil of that. Now just to make this lengthen it out very slightly, I'm gonna use a pineapple juice as well. So this is just uh, my local supermarket, it's a Tesco's, it's 100% pressed and squeezed. I don't do concentrated juices ever. I not, used to use, I used to bang on about like Tropicana and Eager, but you know what? The supermarkets, they are, this, this is like a pound for a litre. And it's six, all that is is six pineapples pressed down. And pressed pineapple juice tastes so much better than the concentrated stuff. So that's what I'm using. 
So I'm just going to uh, use the same amount as I did the rum, 35 mil, all right? So 35 mil. Now, what we want to do is we want to shake that down. Now I'm going to use uh, cubed ice this time to shake that down. Um, okay, you could use crushed ice. If you've got those crushed ice, you could do, but I'm just going to use cubed ice. So There we go, loads of ice in there. Take a shaker, and again, exactly the same as the daiquiri. Just want to shake this down for about 12, 15 seconds. Right, that is nice and chilled again. Now, the mixer for this. Um, you can use fresh ice if you want to, but with rum drinks, I just like to just get them out there. No prim and proper and sort of fresh ice. I like to do that. Now, for the mixer, you could use soda. The original sort of pot of fizz is kind of using soda. However, I've been playing about with this. This is um, Busby's. This is their ginger ale, all right? Now, their Busby's, if you've not heard of them, they're a tonic sort of brand. They've got a few, mainly tonics, but they've got ginger as well. But they are uh, sort of unsweetened, but sweetened with honey. So kind of natural, all right? There's no sort of normal sugar in there. It's all honey, so it's really cool, hence the name Busby's. I think this works exceptionally well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour a little bit straight into the cocktail shaker, so it's straight away mixed up. Get a nice bit of fizz in there. And then we can just pour that straight into the glass. Look at that. If we've done it, work perfectly, which we have. Not my first radio, kids. Look at that. So there we've got uh, a pineapple fizz. Oh, I can smell the pineapple and the ginger coming off that straight away. That's really lovely. Uh, garnish wise for this, do a couple of things. I think just to sort of complement the colour, I'm just going for a mint sprig just in there. Look at that. That looks amazing. And then a straw. There we go. And that is my pineapple fizz. Let's see what that tastes like. Wow, it's that, it's the sort of the caramel notes coming off it. It's pineapple, out and out pineapple, but the caramel notes coming off that, absolutely amazing. The next cocktail, I'm going back to the grapefruit grenade, and this is a grapefruit twist on a very simple Mai Tai, not Trader Fix uh, original sort of Mai Tai recipe, but kind of easy go to a UK sort of uh, version of the Mai Tai. So as I said, this is the grapefruit Mai Tai. Glass that I'm gonna use is that kind of my tiki sort of old fashioned glass. You could make in a rocks glass like that. I just really love rum, you know, it's all about fun. So I really love these. All these glasses, uh, links in the show notes where you get this from, drinkstuff.com. I uh, love working with those guys. So just down the road from me. So always give a big shout out to drinkstuff.com. Um, but we're gonna uh, serve it now. We're gonna make it in a cocktail shaker. So again, 35 mil straight away of the grapefruit rum in there. Then the next ingredient is uh, your lime juice. So I'm going 20 mil of lime juice. There we go. Now, uh, the third ingredient you want is your dry orange curacao. I use bowls, there's um, some cracking brands out there. And I'm just going 10 mil, all right? That's all you need, 10 mil of the dry orange curacao there. It's only about a ten or a bottle online. It's, it's really lovely, it just adds that lovely flavors to cocktails. You use that quite a lot with rum. Now the next ingredient you want is orgite, uh, which is um, an almond syrup, a kind of almond and uh, orange um, blossom water as well. Sometimes maybe a little hint of rose in there as well, but mainly orange blossom water. Now we've done 35 mil of that, we've done 20, uh, 20 mil of lime juice, we've done 10 of that, we just want five mil of the uh, of the orgy of the almond. We don't want too much. And then the final ingredient you want is uh, just normal sugar syrup. Okay, and that's the same five mil of normal sugar syrup in there. There we go. So that's it. That's all the ingredients. I'm going to do what I did with the daiquiri. I'm going to shake this down with crushed ice.
So we've got that filled with crushed ice. Just shake it down, about 12, 15 seconds. There we go, nice and chilled. Now, as I've said in previous videos, where the daiquiri, I like using crushed ice, just adds that little bit of dilution. You can see it's nice and chilled as well. Now, no need to strain. We're just gonna pour that straight in there. And because that's a slightly larger glass as well, I'm just gonna to top it up with even more crushed ice. There we go, just another scoop of that there. Perfect. Now to garnish, you know, there's, you can do whatever you want with this. I've seen Mai Tais with mint sprigs, with pineapples, whatever you fancy. I'm going, because of the orange curacao, I'm going orange. And because I've got some proper cherries in there as well. Uh, just want a straw. Should drop that down, but that's a straw. Wow, that, oh, I love a Mai Tai as well. Absolutely love a Mai Tai. That is absolutely amazing. Again, you get the grapefruit, but it's that little tint of honey that's coming through there. That is just absolutely stunning. Really love that. So that is my grapefruit grenade um, flip up of a kind of a simple Mai Tai. For the next cocktail, I'm going back to the pineapple grenade. And this cocktail is a very simple uh, flip up on Trader Vic's original grog recipe. I absolutely love that. I would normally use that with kind of a, a normal sort of Barbados rum or Mount Gay or something like that. But I've got a funny feeling that this pineapple grenade is gonna work very well. So this is kind of the pineapple grenade grog, if you like. Um, I think this is about 14 ounces. So this recipe, uh, we're gonna use a bit of crushed ice to top it up again, but this recipe will, uh, will fit a sort of 14 ounce um, glass or tiki jar, whatever you wanna use. Right, so shaker. We want 35 mil of pineapple grenade. Now, as this is a grog, you could go a little bit stronger if you want. You could go 50 mil. Uh, I'm just gonna use that. I'll be honest, I haven't made it with this. I'm going straight away, so, but I'm going 35 mil. I will taste it. If we need a bit more rum, we will go, but I've got a funny feeling the 35 mil will work fine. So 35 mil of pineapple grenade. The next thing you want is uh, the lemon juice. As I've mentioned in previous cocktails that I've done, if you're watching this on a bite size, then uh, if you're making, if, you're, if you've got time to squeeze juice there and then, always recommend fresh juice. If you are squeezing juice for a use in a few hours time, the next day for the, really for the weekend, I love using this as ODK, uh, even the funky stuff's good as well, but this is ODK sort of, and it's just, fre it's just fresh lime juice, but it just keeps. Um, so I'm going 25 mil of, uh, sorry, lemon juice. 25 mil of lemon juice, all right? A lot of rum recipes are always lime, but you know, flip it up, the grogs are lemon juice. So I've got 25 mil of lemon juice. The next thing you want is 100% uh, pressed and squeezed pineapple juice. So I'm going the same, I'm going 25 mil. This is just the supermarket brand, so I've mentioned before. Um, you can't beat it. Tropicana is another great, if you want to go out and out branded, you know, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Six, all that is, is six pineapples pressed down. Absolutely love it, it tastes amazing. Um, so we've got that. So, uh, 35 mil pineapple grenade, uh, 25 mil, 25 mil of that. Passion fruit syrup is the next one. We just want 20 mil of passion fruit syrup, okay? This is just Monin passion fruit syrup. There we go, that's going in there. Now, the final ingredient is your bitters. Now, as you can see behind me up there, I've got a whole shelf of bitters. I really like these, these are bitterments. Uh, I can never say it properly, but Element Cooley, I think that's how you say it, Element Cooley Tiki Bitters. And what these are is basically, let's read it off there, cinnamon, allspice, and a blend of island spices. Okay, so we've got tiki spices. These are little pipettes, you don't need that much at all. Okay, so I don't know where you can see that. I'm just literally going, probably not even that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six drops, that's all I'm doing of that. And that's enough. And what bitters do, they kind of elevate the flavors somewhat. So we've got all our ingredients in there. Crushed ice again for shaking. Let's absolutely fill this with crushed ice. There we go. 
and we're just going to do exactly the same. We're going to shake this down for about 12, 15 seconds. And shake it with the crushed ice will give it that nice dilution. It's properly cold. Look at that down there. Again, no need to strain at all. We're just going to pour this straight in. And that has filled it three quarters of the way. Just going to top that up with a little bit more crushed ice. Not too much. There we go. Lovely. And then just to garnish, just because we've got passion fruit in there, I'm going to do a little, little half of passion fruit, pineapple spear, go the whole tiki thing, and then a straw. And that is my pineapple flip on uh, Trader Fix Grog. Mm. That's absolutely delicious. Absolutely love that. That is, that is stunning. Mm. pineapple passion fruit rum oh that is amazing so the final cocktail i'm going back to the grapefruit grenade uh, and this is another sort of classic kind of um sort of caribbean tiki style drink it's a little bit weird it's never really exploded but this is my flip and this is going to be a grapefruit jungle bird okay so jungle bird is um Kind of famous for one ingredient in particular, but we'll get onto that in a second. So I'm going 35 mil again. If you want to make, uh, if you want to go 50 mil, be my guest. But I just think 35 mil, uh, because it's overproof, makes an absolute cracking uh, balanced cocktail. So 35 mil in there. Here we go. Here's the crazy wacky ingredient. It's a love hate thing. Campari. It's a uh, it's kind of a bitter peritif. And you don't have too much of it, but you just got a little bit of bitterness that comes through in the actual cocktail. So I'm just going 15, one, five mil. That's all going in there. So 35, 15. And then as with all rum cocktails, we've got a bit of sugar. So we're going 10 mil of normal sugar syrup. All right, just 10 mil. And then we've got a lime juice. So as to say, you know, if you've got time, I know I'm repeating myself, but if you've got time, freshly squeezed lime juice, absolutely amazing. But if you're uh, batching, squeezing lime juice and lemon juice for service uh, later that night or over the weekend, then I don't think there's no comparison really. It, it, you know, fresh lime juice will, it won't go off, but it will start to oxidize and not taste its best. Whereas this sort of stuff, I just think works. Um, open long shelf life it is 100% lime juice but 10 mil all right so we've got 10 mil of sugar 10 mil of lime juice and then as this is a longer style drink we've got our pineapple juice again going back to our supermarket uh, 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 pineapple juice this is a hundred percent pressed and squeezed juice that's all i use i never use the concentrated stuff there's six pineapples in there if you want to go branded then tropicana is amazing more expensive these are just a pound from tesco's they're absolutely brilliant uh, eager is a great on brand trade but make sure you try and get a hundred percent pressed and squeezed apple juice orange juice all those kind of things they're absolutely amazing for this 75 mil all right so that's a double measure and then a single measure 25 and 50 so 75 mil in total right the glass i'm going to be using is this this is a lovely another sort of tiki glass there you see all my tiki glasses look come from drinkstuff.com i absolutely love this so we're going to be using that one i'm just going to shake this down with crushed ice again we're going to fill that up it should be absolutely perfect so fit so Load that up with crushed ice. A bit more. There we go. And then, as with all the other cocktails, we're just shaking this down for about 12, 15 seconds. There we go, nice and chilled. And the crushed ice gives it that extra bit of dilution, which is absolutely perfect for these sort of rum drinks. No need to strain, just gonna pour that straight in. A little bit frothier this one because of the pineapple juice. And if we've done it, we should be bang on. Look at that. Absolutely bang on the money. Let's garnish this one because we've got the pineapple. Let's go pineapple wedge. Let's go another pineapple spear. 
and then we want a straw as well there we go and that is my grapefruit twist on a jungle bird oh i tell you that is absolutely lovely i really love it the bitterness of that campari just bounces off the grapefruit those two flavors go really really well together grapefruit campari pineapple juice mm. that is an absolutely stunning drink so there we have my five amazing and really really tasty uh, cocktails very simple to make uh, using the two grenades the pineapple with the grapefruit we've got the grapefruit daiquiri we've got the pineapple fizz with ginger instead of soda we've got a grapefruit flip on a kind of easy mai tai recipe we've got uh, a pineapple grog trader fix grog uh, recipe flipped up with um, pineapple grenade then the last one we've got the jungle birds back with the grapefruit absolutely amazing let me know what you think of those cocktails if you've made any of you're gonna make them let me know in the comments below i've been steve the barman i hope you've enjoyed this there's going to be lots more cocktail recipes using these coming over the next few weeks because i just think these two are going to work exceptionally well in cocktails as well so that's been me i'll catch you really soon with another rum review and another cocktail video